Can you believe I was thinking California rolls to start off my day? Somehow it's evolved into a crab salad sandwich. Throw some bacon on it. I got some ideas. Got to start off with some jumbo lump crab meat from Vietnam, of course, just kidding. It doesn't have to be from Vietnam. It could literally be from anywhere, but make sure it's jumbo lump. You don't want the uh, crab with a K. Try to fool you and give you that fake crab stuff, that haddock. Not happening today, baby. Ooh, look at these lumps right there. Somebody went through the work of getting those bad boys out and I'm super happy they did. High five to you, sir. First step, get your mayonnaise, your aioli, or whatever you want to use as a binding agent in the bowl. We're gonna start off with a little old school Hellman's here. I'm literally gonna take raw garlic and I'm just gonna grate it into the mayonnaise. It gives it kind of like a horseradish feel. You know, it gives you a nice little zing to it. Uh, some might misconstrue it as heat, but just know it's gonna make everything taste ridiculous. Get some chives in there, because chives is always so good with these little seafood salads. Juice just a little bit first, because these things might be juicy as anything. And you don't want to totally water down that delicious mayonnaise. So just give it a little squirt. And you got the Old Bay, just add a little touch of that, as much as you'd like. Get some crab in there, ooh, this is my favorite part. Look at these hunks. Oh gosh. So now at this point, just get some tasting going. And you're gonna notice that it starts to break up from the lumps, which is really cool. I mean, you could have it in lumps, which I totally love, but if you break it down a little bit, it starts to take on those additional flavors that you just threw in there. Once that crab salad's ready to go, just get a couple thin slices of avocado. I think avocado adds a nice, beautiful color contrast, a nice little fatty element. And I mean, any reason to throw avocado in there, I'm super happy with. Get these cute little ciabatta guys, split them in half and get some butter and garlic and throw that in the mix. Get some of that garlic butter and do that thing. Sinful, absolutely sinful people. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. And you're gonna want some crispy bits of bacon on top cause why not? Add a little bit of a smoky element. Now that you got these beautiful pieces of garlic bread out of the oven, start stacking this bad boy up. So definitely you're gonna want some of that crap salad mix in there. Duh, that's what we're doing, right? Throw some bacon on, because that's how we get down. A couple slices of avocado, and a little bit of chives to top it off. I don't know where I come up with these things. Whew. I love when your crazy ideas come full circle. I don't know what happens to me sometimes. So I just wanna say, let's mix this with that, and let's enjoy. So that's what we're about to do right now. Get in there. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I dreamed about. <clears throat> right down to that ciabatta bread. Ultra soft. You put all those flavors inside of that crab salad. Popping out. A little bit of chives, a little bit of lemon. That old bay to remind you of up north. I went a little crazy with the bacon on top. A little extra chives, a little bit of avocado. Why not mix some garlic in there? You only live once, they say. And today, I'm living. Mm. Wow making a quick video. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know the deal. You keep watching. I'll keep hunting. And I'll see you soon, right?